in the last couple of years I have noticed popularity of mini PCs and I was always wondering why you know smartphones can do so many things these days but because I'm a parent and my son needs a working PC school YouTube uh, kind of a setup I have decided to buy a mini PC on the budget okay we spent under 350 pounds to make this all working but let me take you upstairs and show you what it's like so here we are this is his setup we've got 27 inch monitor this is actually curved monitor that i purchased for 130 pounds we've got keyboards for around 35 and you've got that mini pc uh, that i'm going to talk a lot about today and first thing you notice how small this device is i mean check this out i absolutely love this rgb light it makes a very stylish in my opinion but let's turn on the monitor and talk about the whole setup a little bit more you can see how quickly it turns on without any hesitation i'm not going to talk too much about the spec i'll put all the information in the description below so you can check that out for yourself for me as a parent i just want to make sure this thing does the job i want to make sure that my son is happy with his work he can do homework he can watch some movies on the big screen uh, and that's what it matters really and you know guys as much as i love smartphones and tablets i want to make sure that when he does the homework and other things he can actually sit straight up because when we use smartphones we tend to bring the head down and i already suffer some neck pain in the shoulders it's very stiff so the last thing i want my kids to spend hours you know on this phones bringing the head down so there's not many people that actually talk about it but in my opinion it is very important now what i love about this keyboard it has built-in mouse so even if they're watching some movies or watching games on on the bed it's actually very easy to do it eh? but again guys this is a budget device uh, that you cannot expect a lot but I let him try to play some games as you can see here we've got Minecraft uh, I played the Asphalt 9 a couple of times and I did not experience you know any issues with this whatsoever I haven't tried like more demanding games uh, but it is possible you know it is possible guys uh, for the budget price you know 350 pounds for the whole setup in my opinion is a huge bargain if you want to do more things what i love the fact we've got three hdmi ports you've got internet connection uh, three usb uh, sticks and that's pretty much it and you've got also headphone jack i wish there was a dedicated um micro sd card but again considering its price 170 pounds you know you cannot expect a lot and then what I've noticed, uh, it's just so much more pleasure consuming media on the bigger screen. We were really considering to buy either a laptop or a PC. And what I love about this, if I would like to upgrade this mini PC for something more powerful for myself, because I still edit all the videos on my smartphone, but eventually I really need to start doing this on a PC because the way I do it, I bring the head down, as I mentioned before, is not really helping my posture. So this is something I will be upgrading in the future. So what I can do, we can just plug it into my setup and I can use my stuff, whatever he wants to use his stuff, he can just plug it in and have his own setup. So I really like that versatility. Also, if I need to, you know, by a bigger screen we can also do that maybe we can even do two you know there are three hdmi cables so you've got loads of possibilities here okay guys uh i wanted to try that minecraft game thingy i have never played this i've seen kids building stuff uh but let's have a little go i hope i'm not gonna mess too much and uh, last time i played some games on pc it was back in like 2000s I don't know how old are you guys, but do you remember Gothic? And uh, that's what I played last time on PC. So uh, 
the graphic was better than this Minecraft thingy, so this looks like an old school. But let's go back to the game and then see what this all about. Okay, he's been building some Among Us here. Interesting, how do I move? Back, side, side. How do I go forward? Okay, W. Let's walk around. Right, what is the aim of this game? So far, it looks a bit boring. Do I have any tasks I need to do? No, I don't want to spend too much time messing around, but as you can see, I'm walking around. The graphic is, a, you know, it's nothing crazy here, so I don't think you should have any problems with that. Uh, but let's start because uh, I can... Okay, so that's some new update, so let's restart it uh, and then go back to the video. Oh, I forgot to mention, uh, on the keyboard you got some shortcuts, so like volume up and down, so you don't have to do this on a monitor, so I... I'm really happy you can also mute. Uh, I'll put all the links, you know, to buy all these products so you can check that out for yourself. It's worth mentioning that this mini PC from Blackview comes with HDMI cable and then you get some brackets. So if you want to mount this on the wall, then you've got that option available, which I really like. I mean, they don't take that much space anyway, but it's great to have some options. So yeah, this is actually the monitor, as you can see, 129 pounds, full HD, curved display, 27 inches, speakers built in. Let me show you the quality of the speakers. And it's great because, you know, I can even watch 4K. The internet connection is not the best here. We are changing this soon, so hopefully we'll improve. Yeah, but look at that. And that's not even, that's only 60%. Honestly, there's so much pleasure watching stuff on the bigger screen. What I love is the fact that tech is getting cheaper and cheaper and there's so much more competition. You know, and this Blackview MP80 is one of the best value for money mini PCs that you can find on the market. I have done some research. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments below if you can find a different setup for a similar price. I'll be really curious to see what is your opinion hope you enjoyed this episode please let me know your thoughts and i'll catch you guys in the next one cheers